Hey everyone, welcome to episode 5 of News from the Main Deck, Hunting Hydrothermal Vents. In this episode, we start with Dennis in the Universal Lab, where some pretty exciting events took place yesterday when the ROV Quest dove and discovered a brand new hydrothermal vent site. Why that is important, and how exactly it took place, is what we are going to see in this week's episode. The vast majority of the seafloor does not contain anywhere near the abundance of life that hydrothermal vent sites possess. But finding sites of hydrothermal activity takes some considerable effort. And what we're going to show you now is how we manage this on board the Meteor, using both traditional and new methods. Hello, I'm Christian. I'm on uh, research vessel Meteor. And here I'm uh, looking the sea bottom with this acoustic method. And we have like a 3D uh, image of the seafloor. Using Christian seafloor maps as a guide, we lowered the traditional CTD instrument to sniff for the telltale temperature and chemical anomalies in the water column that hydrothermal vents produce, and take water samples. To tell us more, here is Dr. Christian Brodsky. Christian is using an EH sensor mounted on the CTD. The sensor detects the presence of reducing chemicals that can only come from hydrothermal vent waters rising into the water column. The CTD is deployed on a wire to within a few hundred meters of the seafloor and then moved up and down in a yo-yo fashion while the ship tows it, hence why it's called towing. The clear drops in the EH signal that you see here gave us the target that we wanted to dive on. By narrowing down the search area, we can now have a more targeted approach for our dive with Quest. In this multi-beam sonar image, you can see the location of the CTD instrument above the seafloor here. Right next to it is a plume of what we believe are gas bubbles rising from a hot vent shown here. We use the CTD water bottles to take some samples, which once on deck we use to measure key indicators like methane to confirm the presence of hot fluid in the water column. So now we have a dive plan and a target for Quest, find the vent. During the dive, all the science party crowds into the Universal Lab to watch the video feed from Quest as the discoveries are made. They're so pretty, they're so teeny tiny little ones. So, to explain a little bit more about what we found, here is our chief scientist for the cruise, Nicole Dubillier. We're very excited about the discovery of this new hydrothermal vent. Uh, what we find fascinating is that we were able to discover it uh, by using the new echo sounder technology that was described to you in the earlier part of this video. The new site lies in an area that has already been explored extensively during the last 10 years by others and were not able to find them. What you see here are the active smokers with 300 degrees hot fluids uh, coming out of the chimneys. We, at the new site, we also found a number of animals. Here you see the small mussels that are typical for the deep sea fauna, or here crabs that one often finds at hydrothermal vents. What we are really excited about is that we could imagine that small active sites like these are common along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and that would explain how animals are getting to between the traveling between the large sites. They're using these small ones as stepping stones to move between the larger ones. So now that we've got samples of mussels and hot fluids from this brand new site on deck, we've got a lot of work to do. So until the next time we see you, all the best for me and Dennis at News from the Pile Deck.